Welcome to Halflington. Picturesque, eh? You must be here to audition for the protagonist role. Very well. We'll see if you're up for it. Why don't you take a look around? I do love a tavern, don't you? So cosy. Let's see if you know your way around the basics. Not to get too technical, but can you point out a table? I'll let you know if you're off track. Oh, that's a relief. You wouldn't believe how many main characters I lose on that one. This next one will be a bit trickier. Can you point out a patron? That's what I call customers. I just like... Correct! Health. Though in the future, you might refrain from poking strangers. Some find it rude. That's objects and people handled. Shall we see if you can tell the difference between the rooms? Can you locate the storeroom? That's the kitchen. Smells lovely. A hallway. Connection. Very good. The storeroom is also a great place to hide from annoying customers. Oh dear, is that an adventurer headed this way? Always a handful, heroes. Why don't you see what he wants? After all, interacting with odd characters is part of the job. Just click on the fellow with the book above his head. As you move to intercept the adventurer, he sweeps his sword from its sheath and slams it into the bar top, rattling the tankards and startling the other patrons. He strikes... He frowns, giving his breastplate a polish with a bar towel. <laughs> Not much of a greeting. In stories, people usually welcome heroes with more great... Good thinking. The best tales start with heroes brooding in corners. If anyone comes in with a magic ring or a prophecy or something, send them my way. Really? I don't have to do any fighting or dungeon crawling? The whole world isn't hinging on my valiant deeds? You managed to defuse the situation? Impressive. I thought for sure that would be a disaster. Let's move on. Now, I'd like to see how you handle opening a tavern yourself. Click on the prompt to the right when you're ready. Welcome to the swamp. Sorry, I blew the location budget on that Halflington Tavern. I hope you like mud. First things first, it's time to teach you how to teach yourself. Hovering your cursor over things like checklists can bring up helpful tool tips. Why don't you try it? Phenomenal work! You mastered tool tips, and thus the secret to mastering the whole game. Onwards, the tap room is ready but you're missing a vital piece, the tap. You'll need one to serve drinks. Build one wherever you like. It's that easy. Ready to hire your first staffer? Based on those qualifications, are they a friend of yours? Never mind, it's time to buy drinks. The traveling merchant will be here momentarily. Click on him when he arrives. Excited to tap that barrel? Select the tap you installed to assign your new beverage to it.
That does it for basic necessities. I think you're ready to open for business. Unlock those doors. It's smooth sailing from here. Wait for a patron and your staffer will do the work. Dead simple, see? Now, let me show you how to make your tavern more cosy. <laughs> Decorating your tavern truly... <gasps> It makes it your own. Take this table, for example. It's an empty canvas, ready to transform. You might decorate it with something simple, perhaps place a centerpiece. But why stop there? You can change and tweak every element according to your mood. Ooh, feeling romantic? And you needn't stop at simply decorating. You can design anything you can imagine, piece by piece, Go wild! For now, let's try something simple. Select a piece from the design mode and combine it with the table. You'll have hundreds of options as a tavern keeper, but let's start with three. That's an interesting choice. Well, there's no accounting for taste. That's enough decorating for now. You know, I think I've found my protagonist. The role is yours if you want it. Go on. Run the tavern as you like for a few days. Perhaps you can earn your first tavern star. Seems we're in for a... Rainy night. 